Hello friends, in this video we will discuss about adenomyosis. Adenomyosis is a basically a type of endometriosis. That means the endometrium outside the uterine lining. Endometrium grows inside the myometrium beyond some limits. This is why adenomyosis happens. If you see here, this is the three layers of uterus. This is serosa. This is the bigger myometrium and this yellow thing comes to endometrium. Now this yellow things generally grows inside the myometrium like this. A small small legs of endometrium is seen in myometrium that is called adenomyosis. If you if you concentrate in this figure like this is a myometrium okay this uh, and bin, below this there is an endometrium so this is myometrium all this green thing is a endometrium and this outline black outline is a limit for development of endometrium normally this is a emj endometrial myometrial junction here now generally what happens in normal patient also some amount of endometrium grows inside the myometrium but there is some limit so these are the limit values I am talking about so this is actually happens in the normal day to day life and there is a no problem regarding this this is also can be called periendometrial uh, adenomyosis but if this tissue grows beyond the limit here then it will convert into a real endometriosis now again is a type of endometriosis basically so it is also estrogenic conditions it happens with the long exposure of high estrogen to uterus it happens in multipara where there is a many multiple pregnancies are there and whenever there is a pregnancy the endometrium grows very high you know this thing that is called decidua and now there are higher chances of this decidua to uh, to grow inside the myometrium so what happens in pregnancy the myo uh, the uterus size is bigger you know and bigger and uh, the endometrium is also well developed in pregnancy as a decidua now when the uh, pregnancy is over then this of, uh, then uh, involution of the uterus will happen so uterus will come to normal size but some amount of endometrial tissue remains inside the myometrium when it contracts and becomes to the normal size and this retained endometrium with the pregnancy number increases be becomes more and more and that's why the endometrium is there in the myometrium above the limits so it happens into the endometriosis there is another biochemical thing is aromatase enzyme is also activated in myometrium so that with the normal androgens it can convert into estrogen so if you just see the histology size slide of the adenomyosis you will find that this coffee color things are the myoma cells and among, among them there is green legs of endometrial this is called endometrial legs and around this endometrial legs there is a hypertrophy of myoma see here this is a hypertrophy of myoma so this gives the classical appearance on ultrasound that is salt and paper appearance how it appears this endometrial legs will have a high uh, hyper echoic appearance on ultrasound and this myometrial hypertrophy will have a hypo echoic appearance so if you see this ultrasound here you can see here this hyper echoic thing is a endometrium and for, uh, around surrounding that it is a hypo echoic thing it is a hypertrophy of myoma so basically adenomyosis is a fatty uterus this is the normal uterus and this is the adenomyotic uterus you can generally see the identify the difference 
adenomyotic lesion can be localized like this in lateral wall or like this it can be diffused on ultrasound you, you see a salt and paper appearance what is the symptoms menorrhagia dysmenorrhea are the symptom in the uh, multiparous women above 40 clinical examination you can identify the bulky globular uterus what is the diagnosis how you made the diagnosis you do you do a transvaginal sonography you must do a transvaginal sonography because in sometimes trans abdominal sonography you cannot identify those adenomyosis very clearly so you will see diffused localized myometrial bulkiness salt and pepper appearance sometimes myometrial cyst also that what is a transition zone transition zone is a zone uh, from endometrium to myometrium conversion normally it is around 5 mm in size but if it is happening more than 12 mm then we can confirm the diagnosis of adenomyosis MRI can actually add on the diagnosis but MRI is not the preferred investigation because just for adenomyosis MRI should not be done management is just like cut, so, cut source of the estrogen that we do in um, endometriosis we do a GnRH induce menopause medically or if the patient has already conceived and we don't need uterus anymore then we can directly go for hysterectomy thank you